Hello, my name's Matthew Randall. No, I'm Matthew Randall. No, I'm Matthew Randall. No, I'm Matthew Randall. Today we're talking about deep fakes. And uh, I was inspired by a video posted by Two Minute Papers on YouTube uh, looking at a latest development in deep fakes. So it was a paper called First Order Motion Model for Image Animation. Uh, the significance of this paper really is kind of in two areas. One is that we can actually create a deep fake just from one image. We don't need to do uh, lots of posting of, uh, we don't need lots of images of a person uh, in order to do the deep fake. And also that this is their, their approach is a very generalized approach. So not only can we actually apply this to faces, but we can also apply this to whole bodies or even cartoon animation. So in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to head over to their GitHub page and show you how to download their work and get it working for yourselves. Hello, right, so we're on the uh, web page for this paper and what we want to do is um, we can either access the paper or we can go to GitHub and get the code. So yeah, please have a look at the paper, but we're going to go over to GitHub and start downloading the code. So we're going to head over to GitHub. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to go through a GitHub route. I'm just uh, Git, GitHub route on this. I'm just going to download this and uh, uh, run it on my machine. Okay, so I'm just going to click download, uh, download zip. Okay, uh, it might be that you have to do a sign in to do to, to get it if you don't need to. Uh, it should be fine. I don't think I'm signed in. No, nope. so I don't think you need a sign in for it. So yep, yeah, it's just downloading now. Uh, let's just go to my downloads folder. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is just extract that. So I'm going to go right click. Um, I've got um, uh, uh, WinZip or WinRAR, whatever your favorite zip tool is. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to go extract. Here we go. Uh, and this is the code here for it. Okay. Uh, and what I've done is I've created a folder. So I'm just going to create another screen here. Um, I've created a folder on my C drive that I'm going to be working from and running this code from called Deepfake. I've already put in a couple of assets, so I've put in the introduction video that I recorded for this and um, a cropped version of the Mona Lisa here as well. Okay, great. Okay, so um, what we want to do is uh, just copy all of this into the Deepfake directory. Okay, great. So let's copy all that across. Excellent. Okay. Then if we just click back, so now that we've got our code from the GitHub, okay, um, if actually, sorry, keep, stay with the GitHub. If we scroll down the GitHub, uh, what you'll see is it gives us a whole load of instructions on how to implement this, okay? Now, um, what I'm going to do is obviously what we're, what we're doing is we're running this on um, Python, so I need to actually download a version of Python that I can run this on. And also this is using lots and lots of different libraries. Some of those libraries are quite large. Um, uh, so we need to download those libraries as well, and those are referred to as dependencies, okay? And you'll see here, um, uh, when it's talking about it, you know, you know we, 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 we create a Python 3, and then we run this to install all the dependencies, okay? Now, I like to write, run my Python code using something called Anaconda. Uh, so uh, obviously I like to set up lots of different, um, you know, if you think about a, a version of Python and all the libraries that you have in there, we can call that an environment. And so I like to have, I have lots of different Python environments for running different things. So, so rather than just having, you know, just installing standard Python and only having like, and finding it quite difficult to manage uh, Python, um, what I do is I use Anaconda and that allows me to have lots of versions of Python uh, or lots of different Python environments that I can work with for different projects. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Anaconda website and I'm going to set up an environment uh, to run this. So that will be the... Uh, uh, so that would be our Python and all the dependencies that are required to run this code. Great. Okay. So I'm just going to type in Anaconda here in our search and you'll see that it comes up the world's most popular data science platform. We'll click on that, click on download. And what I want to do is I want to download uh, Python 3.7 64-bit. Okay. So I'm just going to download the latest version. Let's just click download. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's quite a large download, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pause the video right now until it downloads. 
Okay, so we've downloaded this now. So what I'm going to do is just simply click on here to run it. Or if you can't access it there, it should be in your downloads folder. Okay, so we're now running the install for Anaconda. We should go next. Yep, yeah, I agree. Uh, just for me, that's fine. It's going to just go through the standard setups. Okay, and we'll let it install. Uh, what I might do is just pause the video while it's installing so you don't have to see that, okay? Okay, that download's now complete. Uh, took quite a while on my machine, so if it takes a while on your machine, don't worry. Uh, especially the bits towards the end. Uh, although I think I was having some problems with disk space, so I've freed up a bit of disk space now, so we should be okay. So, we just go click Next uh, and Finish. Great. So that will finish our install now. Okay, now what I want to do to run Anaconda, um, I'm just going to go into my little search bar here and just go Anaconda, and I'm just going to use the Anaconda prompt. So we do everything through the prompt here, okay, uh, uh, to set up our, our environments. Now, in terms of what commands we want to run, um, what I tend to do is use a cheat sheet. So I'm going to go Anaconda cheat sheet. Okay, and that gives us all the main commands because uh, I can never memorize all these things. Um, so I'm just going to go and open up a Conda cheat sheet. This is the classic one that I always end up using. And this will help us up. out. Oh, okay, so um, the latest version of Python when I'm recording this is 3.8. Um, I find just going to the latest for these things a little bit dodgy. All the dependencies and libraries that it uses might not be updated for that. So I'm just going to go one back. I'm going to create an environment. Uh, for Python 3.7. So to create an environment, I just go Conda. So in my Conda console here, I just go Conda, create. So I'm just going to create a brand new environment. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it Deep Fake. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to just specify that I want Python to equal 3.7. So this is the version of Python that I want. Okay. Let's go return. Uh, so that will now um, download and create a Python 3 environment for me. Yes, we want all of that. Goodness. Okay. Uh, so I will just pause while it's sort of setting up that environment. Great, so that environment's been created. I can just check that. I can go um, uh, Conda. Oh, hang on, I've got to click back on my thing. Conda EMV list. Let's have a look what we've got. And it should list our environments that we've got. So I should have my base environment. And then I should have my deep fake environment that I've created. There we are. There's my new environment that I've created. Now, what I want to do in order to be doing things on that deep fake environment, I need to activate it. So I'm going to go activate deep fake. Okay. Uh, all that means now is, uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, I called it defake. Well, that wasn't very useful. I'm going to have to just remember that. So, activate defake. Um, yeah, try and spell correctly. Uh, okay. Um, and you'll see now that it's changed from base to defake. So, it's saying that we've now got the defake environment in our focus. Everything I do now will be done to the defake environment as opposed to our base environment, our brand new environment. So it'll be done on our brand new environment. Now what I want to do is install the dependencies, okay? So um, what I found was, uh, so if I if I just quickly, I'm just going to go back to our deepfake directory that, we, that I created. Uh, so look, here we go, on the C drive. Uh, so in this document here, I'm just going to open this up. These are all the requirements. And basically, we can just run this, and it will download all of the bits for us. Now, one of the things I found was um, uh, that, uh, so what Conda will do, Conda will go off on its own and, uh, and find all of these bits for us, okay? And what I found was e either using Conda or PIP, uh, uh, which does the same thing, um, it couldn't find these two libraries. So we had to go a different way around that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, this from the requirements list, okay? And I'm just going to go save, because otherwise it's going to come into problems when it tries to download those two. So it's just, a, I'm just going to control this so you can see that. So it's the torch and the torch vision uh, libraries. We're just going to delete those, and I'm just going to go file save, okay? Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, install all of those dependencies. So to do that, we've got our environment active. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go conda install. And I need to point it to our, our file. So I'm going to go say file. So here's a file with it all in there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go uh, c colon backslash uh, deep fake. Okay. Requirements 
Bash.txt. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's uh, yeah. Let's run that. Okay. So now it's going to go off on the internet and it's going to go and download all of those libraries for us. So it'll do quite a few things as it does that in the in the background. Okay. Um, and actually, you can see it's also had a problem with PyGit. Okay, so what we'll do is we will, um, yeah, what I'll do is I will go back into uh, requirements and I'm going to remove PyGit from the list as well. Excellent. Okay, let's go file save. Excellent. Okay, let's kill that. Uh, back into here. Uh, one of the nice things about this prompt is if you want to rerun a command, just press the up button and it will bring up the commands that you've done. So obviously, I can just rerun this last command now and hopefully everything will run. So, yeah, it's gone through, it's found all the packages, and it's saying, do I want to proceed? Yes, I do. Bang. Okay. So, that'll take a little while, bringing all those packages in. Um, so, I shall pause there while it does that. Okay, so all of those libraries are installed. I just wanted to make a quick note as well about this command. If we just review this command. Um, obviously here I'm referring to the C drive, deep fake, and the requirements file. So it's this file here. And you can see it's C drive, deep fake. So hopefully you can kind of understand how I'm addressing that file um, uh, through this. Okay. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is run the uh, install those files that we weren't able to install. Um, so what I did was uh, if we go back to the GitHub page, this Git original GitHub page, and uh, we go to the top, we can kind of look at um, issues. Uh, and in here, uh, there was, um, yeah. Install fails on dependencies, okay? Uh, so if we just click on that. So sometimes if you come across things like this, click on the issues in the GitHub and, and someone might come up with a solution. So in this case, someone has come up with a solution. So they're saying, hey, uh, run this command. So what we'll do is we will run this command, okay? So I'm just going to go, um, I need to delete that command because I don't want that one. So I'm just literally doing a copy and paste and then I'm just going to run that command, okay? Uh, now, um, the Torch and Torch Vision packages are extremely large packages. Um, they they are neural net packages. Okay, so they will take a little a little while to download. Okay, so I will just pause there while that's happening. So that's now installed, and um, we still uh, one of the things I wanted to point out actually because we've installed Torch uh, 1.4 and Torch Vision 0.5. Those those work together. Okay, uh, basically the Torch Vision is kind of a, uh, an interface for Torch. Um, okay, so what we want to do is um, one of the things to point out was if we go back to the main documentation here. So let's go back to the main documentation for this piece of software and uh, it points out somewhere down here that um, I'm just going to do a search for torch so we can see it torch no okay uh, it does point out somewhere in this documentation here that if we want to train things yeah here we are uh, PyTorch it's important to use PyTorch 1.1 1 .1 and uh, uh, higher versions cause uh, cause issues. Okay, uh, that's if you want to use uh, do any training. We're not doing training on this. We're just going to use uh, the data sets that they've already got, that they've already trained. So all the models that they've already trained. So that's not a concern to us right now. Uh, the fact that we have actually installed a higher version of PyTorch than this. Okay. Now the final thing, if you remember, that we needed to install was PyGit. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is um, Conda seems to have a problem finding PyGit. So what we'll do is is rather than going install through uh, Conda uh, or do a Conda install, we're going to use something called pip. So pip is like the standard way of installing things um, for Python. Okay, so I'm just going to go pip install uh, pygit uh, equals 0 0.1. Okay, uh, if I actually use equals, that would help. There we go. Let's install that. Great. So that is all the things installed for uh, this uh, library. Okay. 
Okay, so we're ready to kind of start running some deep fakes now. But before we do that, what we need to do is we, we, we want to run this command to create the deep fake. But actually, before we do that, we need to crop our videos uh, appropriately and size them appropriately to run in this deep fake software. So what it's suggesting that we do is we actually download the uh, this face alignment library uh, and run this code here as well uh, and, and install the dependencies for that. So what we need to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this URL. Again, we could just run a clone if you've got GitHub installed. Uh, you could just run the clone right now, uh, and that will work. Okay, uh, but assume you haven't got GitHub installed. Let's go to the the, the website. So it's going to go to the website. Uh, let's put that in there. Uh, let's just pause for a moment. Okay, I just uh, had a. Uh, no internet for a little bit there. Right, let's continue. So again, we're just going to copy and paste the URL for this GitHub, okay? And this will just take us straight to the GitHub page for this uh, particular piece of software. Again, we're just going to go and download, uh, download zip, okay? Great. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, my downloads folder. So. Uh, where am I? This is on my videos folder at the moment. Let's just go down to downloads. Here we go. So this is where I've downloaded it to. Again, I'm just going to go and uh, extract it. You can extract it using whatever software you want. Okay. So that creates a folder here. Uh, and then we've got this basically. So here we have this face alignment tool. Okay. Um, and what I want to do is I'm just going to co copy this code. I'm going to copy. Okay, uh, and in effect, so let's go copy, and if I go to uh, back to our deep fake folder, so what we have in here is uh, there's a, uh, a command here called uh, cropvideo.py that comes with the deep fake um, uh, uh, code that we've just downloaded, and that uses uh, this uh, face alignment library. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go and paste that in. Uh, one of the important things I need to do is actually not call it face alignment master, but just call it face alignment. Okay, that's really important as well. Okay, um, and this has all got dependencies as well that we need to kind of download. Okay, and uh, now if I open this up, uh, yeah, uh, one of the dependencies that did cause a problem was uh, OpenCV. So I found that that caused me a problem as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, uh, when I try to do it through Conda, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that, okay, uh, and then we will, we, we will again uh, download this separately. So let's go to File, Save, okay, great, okay. So what we want to do is run the requirements for this, okay. Um, actually, the easiest way to do that is, I found, is actually just move into this folder and then run the requirements uh, from that uh, uh, and then just run the requirements uh, uh, in that in that folder so to do that we go back into anaconda okay and we should just be able to go uh, uh, cd uh, backslash like that so if I go cd dot dot that should take me up a directory. So at the moment, I was in C colon users mat. So I was in that folder. Okay. So imagine I was on the C drive uh, and I was inside of. Uh, and so imagine I'm in this users folder and I was inside that mat folder. So now what I can do is I can just go up the C drive. Okay. Um, there we go. Um, and I think I can also change drives as well. There you are. So if I type in D, that can change drives just in case you're working on a completely different drive. But we're working on the same drive, so there's no need for us to change drives. Okay. So I can now just go, uh, so CD dot dot to go back up. And now what I can do is actually go into uh, uh, the URL, uh, the folder that I want to go into. In fact, what I can do, and an easier way of doing this, uh, I think, is if I go into my folder, which is Deepfake, here and I want to actually go into the face alignment folder here so I can go into that folder if I just click on the bar here it actually gives me um, the address of that folder anyway so I can just go control C to copy that okay go into here and I can go CD control V 
and if I put that in you can see it takes me straight to that folder anyway so that might be an easier way for you to do it okay so now that we're in that folder uh, I should be able to do that install requirements command that I did before okay so uh, here we go install file obviously here I'm already where I need to be so I'm just going to go and say requirements.txt I don't need to do anything uh, sorry anything else okay so I'm just going to conda install file requirements txt we're already in the face alignment file so we'll be running this requirements file not the one that we had before okay let's press enter it should check some things for me and hopefully it will just uh, ask if I want to proceed yes I do want to proceed or I think it's in hard die hard hell yeah I want to proceed okay and uh, then that's going to go and download um, uh, those libraries as well. Okay. Uh, in fact, that was reasonably quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, an install of the OpenCV library. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go uh, pip install um, uh, OpenCV hyphen Python. Okay. Uh, again, we tried to do it through Conda. Conda seemed to have a problem with this, so I'm just doing it through pip. Okay, let's press enter. Excellent. So this might take a little while to download. So again, I'm just going to go and pause it while it downloads and installs. Great. So that's everything for our face alignment now uh, installed. Okay, so before we can run this face alignment tool, uh, and just to give you an idea, sorry, I haven't really explained the face alignment tool very well, but here it is. What it's doing is it's basically detecting where your face is, and we're going to use that information to basically crop videos around our face, okay, so that we can use it inside of this um, uh, um, uh, uh, this um, deep fake tool that we've got, okay? Great. Um, what we want to do then is uh, we need to kind of install the scripts for this. So um, if we go back to uh, the, the original page that we started with here, so this is the original page we started with here, it's saying, hey, we need to do this. We need to go to the face alignment directory. We need to install the requirements. That's what we've done. Uh, now what we need to do is run this script, okay? So we need to run the setup pie script, okay? So remember, we're already in the face alignment folder. So we already can see the setup pi script. So all I need to do is literally just type in Python setup pi install. Okay, so I just need to type that in. In fact, I'm just copy and paste that across. Okay, put that in and just run it. Okay, and that should set up all the scripts that we need. Okay, great. So now we're in a position to run um, the, um, uh, sorry, this crop video command that we've got here. Okay, so let's just work out where everything is. Um, obviously, the crop video command is inside the folder, inside this deep fake folder. So we do just want to pop up a folder now uh, and make sure that we're inside just the deep fake folder now. Okay. So now what we should be able to do is, uh, if I go into uh, deep fake, sorry, do, 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 uh, yeah, you can see we've got that. Uh, so we've got the, the, the Python script there. And also, remember, in the assets folder, if you've done the same thing as me or if you haven't, set it up now. But in the assets folder are the files that I'm going to be working with. So this is the input video, and this is our source image that we want to actually kind of manipulate using this input video, okay? Um, okay, and remember, uh, important things are that the input video should be in an MPEG-4 format, okay? Uh, and the uh, source image, you can use a source video as well, uh, but I'm using a source image. The source image should be in a PNG format, okay? Uh, 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 and, and should also be cropped, but I'll, I'll speak about that in a moment, okay? Um, okay, so let's focusing on cropping this. So this is my raw video. I need to crop this, okay? Um, so what we'll do is, uh, with this in mind, I'm just going to take this command, uh, sorry, this uh, Python crop video, do, 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 there we go. Excellent. Let's take that command, okay? So that's all good, but what we want to do is we need to point this to my video. So remember, it's in the, I'm just going to bring it up, it's in the uh, assets folder. So let's have a look. So I go assets uh, forward slash. Okay, we don't want this bit, and we're just going to call it intro.mp3. Okay, uh, so let's run this. And what it's going to do is going to look through our video. 
and figure out what the best crop is to get the best results from uh, this software. Okay, uh, it might need to download some things the first time it runs as well. So we'll just let that happen as well. Um, so I'm just going to pause while it's doing that. Okay, so um, it's come up with an issue here that uh, my uh, uh, drivers are out of date. Okay, so um, what we can do is uh, I I will just go to uh, my NVIDIA.com and install the latest drivers. Okay, um, so here we go. Let's open up another one. Uh, again, it's always good to kind of um, check that you've got the latest drivers installed as well. Uh, so. Uh, I want to try and copy it from the, the, the page with NVIDIA, so NVIDIA.com, yeah, download index ASPX, that's the one I want, okay, let's go for it. Now I'm hoping it's just a driver issue and not the fact that my graphics card is too old, uh, otherwise I'll have to continue this on a different machine, okay. Um, okay, uh, it's a GeForce. So yeah, just go ahead and download the the uh, the uh, stuff for your graphics card. Okay, I shall pause while I do that. Okay, that was interesting. Um, um, it's quite an old computer, but I just couldn't. Uh, but NVIDIA didn't seem to be providing me drivers that, that worked on, on, on that graphics card. So I wasn't really able to do anything with that. So I've moved everything over to a new computer. Um, so uh, uh, And we're continuing as we were before okay um, the only difference we've got is the um, uh, I've named the actual um, uh, Python environment defake and, and that is now activate active and the only other uh, uh, difference we have is that we're working in on the V drive not the C drive okay and um, so it's a V drive deepfake um, but that shouldn't make any differences to what you're doing anyway okay so we're in the deepfake directory and what we wanted to do was we wanted to um, crop um, uh, the video okay so what we want to do is we want to scroll down here and we want to grab this uh, crop video uh, command here. So you go Python, crop video, do, 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 do. So we'll do this again. Okay. Uh, and obviously what we want to do is address the um, video that I have in the assets folder. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to edit this to say uh, assets. Here we go. Uh, for, forward slash intro dot mpeg4 okay let's run that okay so what it's telling me now is um, we haven't got fff mpeg installed okay and it's basically just saying use this piece of code so basically if we just grab that piece of code go control c okay or command I should say it's not really code, is it? Uh, and go and then go Control V. So we just go, and all this is doing is telling Conda to install FFF, uh, FFmpeg. Okay, uh, we don't need all of this. Let's just delete this. We just want this bit. Okay, Conda install FFmpeg. Okay, and that will go go off and, and grab that for us. So let's run that. Now, that might take a while to install, so what I'm going to do, because again, it's going to have to download some work. Uh, yes, I want to proceed. Bang. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's happened really reasonably quickly. I think I've got uh, FFF. FFmpeg, sorry, um, cached locally, so that that ran quite quickly on my machine. Um, on yours, it might have to download some large files off the off the web. If if it has to do that, that's not a problem. It will take care of that itself. So now we've got that installed. Let's just press the up key, so we can run that command again. Okay. Okay. So now. It's uh, looking at our image and it's basically analyzing it and working out the best way to crop it. So I'm going to let it do its analysis uh, and I'll pause there and we'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, so it, what it's, it's done that process now. So what's happened is it's gone through the video that I, uh, the introduction video that I created, and it's worked out the best way to crop uh, that video. Okay, uh, and then what it's done is it's created a command for me to run on FFmpeg here. So all I've got to do is basically copy this, Ctrl C, and 
paste it in here, okay, and then run that command. I'm going to make my window a little bit wider so we can see the command there, uh, and run that command, okay. Excellent. So now what it's going to do is it's actually performing that crop for me, okay. So what we'll do, uh, there are, and the, the, the crop's been performed. If I go back and just look at that command quickly, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, you'll see that it went to crop.mpeg4, so it'll put it in crop.mpeg4 inside this um, folder here, okay. So if we just go back into deep fake you'll see there's a new video here called crop.mpeg4 and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up uh, VLC media player and we will just run that in there let's have a look if I can just make this a little bit smaller Doo -doo 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 -doo. and let's just have a look at that in there you'll see what we have is a cropped version of the video that I created Hello, earlier my name is Matthew Randall no there we go Okay, uh, what I want to do is I just want to put that in the assets folder just to keep things organized so it's all in there. Okay, uh, again, I could have actually just modified this command to make it go into the assets folder. Um, I was just being a bit lazy there. Okay, so now we've cropped our video, we've got a cropped version of our video. Um, I've already got a cropped version of the Mona Lisa. Okay, and what I actually did was um, I literally just took a still, so um, I just used a VLC media player. Uh, if I just demonstrate that again, do do do. So I just use VLC Media Player, uh, and then I just went into uh, Video, take snapshot, and I just use that, and that that'll put a snapshot of the the video inside of this pictures folder for you, and then I just use that snapshot of the video. Um, to line up a crop of the Mona Lisa, okay? Um, so I just did it in Photoshop using layers. Again, you can use your favorite image editing tool, um, uh, GIMP, if you don't have Photoshop at home, okay? But all I did was just overlay. I made this, uh, so I made this semi-transparent, overlaid it over the top, lined it up over there. So this was roughly the eyes, nose, and mouth of rough, roughly line up with this, okay? Uh, and then I cropped it based on that. The key thing is that the image, okay, should be, uh, so look, if we go to properties, okay, uh, the image, it should be, well, actually it should be 256 by 256, uh, but it isn't. I will quickly correct that now, okay? Okay, I've now corrected that. So I just quickly whipped it into Photoshop and, and corrected that. So the crop video will be 256 by 256. And then this image here will be 256 by 256. And I've obviously laid out the eyes and mouth to, to, to overlap with each other. Great. We're now ready to run this command. Okay. Uh, so this is the Python demo. Uh, so we're going to run the demo.py uh, script, which is inside of the deepfake folder here. Okay, this is the demo.py script. Now, the only um, issue that I found was when I ran it, um, it couldn't find one of the um, uh, one of the commands in Psychic Psychic Learn. So I had to actually edit it a little bit. So all you've got to do is just go into your favorite text editor. Um, so uh, so open up this in your favorite text editor. Um, you could just do this in Notepad. Um, uh, I'm going to edit it with, uh, so go open with, yes, yeah, I'll do it in Notepad as well. There we go, okay. And and all I want to do is just add, um, uh, in fact, uh, this already seems to have it in there, actually. So that's all good. Um, so, yeah, you want to add this line here, okay, um, uh, just to kind of correct it, okay, and just add that line there if you haven't already got it. Okay, great. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if that was a bug of theirs or whether I've just not installed the libraries correctly or is it just some versioning thing. Anyway, it's just something that dropped out when I ran it. So yeah, add that line there if you haven't got that in the demo.py file and obviously just go save and then quit out of notepad. Okay, um, I don't need to do any saving because that edit is already there. Okay, great. So now... Um let's go and run this command, okay? And hopefully the magic will happen. So let's go back into here, 
I'm going to go Control V. Okay, so again, we go Python demo.py. So we're running that. Do 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 do. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to set up our data sets. Okay, so um, we need to decide what data set that we're going we're going to use. So if we go into here, um, it says do do do. Uh, it shows us the data sets that are available. So we need to use a pre-trained data set, okay? And you can get these from Google Drive. Just click on this link and it goes to a Google Drive account for you, okay? I use the um, uh, the Vox uh, um, uh, ADV CPAC uh, version. So I'm using this one, okay? So I'm just gonna go right click uh, and go download. Uh, yeah, I'm going to download anyway, so we'll download that, okay? I'll pause while it's downloading, okay? Great. Okay, so um, now that we've downloaded this, um, so this is like a tar file. We do not need to unzip this tar file, okay? Um, so I'm just going to go into the downloads folder. Mm -mm -mm. Um, and so it's this, uh, this one here that we want, okay? So I'm just going to go copy and put that into our uh, uh, the, the appropriate folder so is it uh, Z drive you got so again the V drive deep fake and we want to put it into um, I think it's is it config here we go these are the configuration files uh, so it's going into this called a checkpoint so it's going into checkpoint yeah so what we want to do is create a folder so I'm going to go new folder I'm going to call it checkpoint okay and paste now I've already downloaded this so it's added this one at the end of it I need to get rid of that hopefully you haven't got that okay so obviously I just need to correct that otherwise that's going to cause me problems okay um, great okay so let's go through this command then I'm going to just have I'm just going to put this to the side here so you can kind of see what we're doing and hopefully you can kind of hook up the two things as we go along. Right, okay. So let's just scroll back. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're gonna do config, and so we're gonna go into the config file. So we're gonna configure it to use the data set that we've downloaded. So if we go into config, um, remember we downloaded, so there are, what I should say is there's different training packs here for different things. Um, the one that we're using for our headshot, okay, is either the Vox one or the Vox Advanced one, okay? And um, either of those should work, okay? Don't use these other ones. These are for different purposes. So if you go into this documentation here, you'll see, hopefully, yeah, you can see the fashion data sets used for this type of shot, okay, a full body shot. And then you've got the Air, uh, uh, the uh, MG um, uh, IF for doing um, animation. Okay, so these are different train sets for different purposes. Okay, great. So, um, right. So what we want to do, let's go back to here and back to here. So we want to tell it to use this uh, Vox ADV Advance um, uh, YAML um, uh, uh, config file. And that will automatically kind of point it um, that will automatically set things up to use that data set, okay? So, uh, we're going to go vox underscore ADV, uh, sorry, uh, not underscore, hyphen, and then hyphen 256, uh, YAML, so that's our config file. And then the driving video, the driving video is the video that we used, okay, to create uh, uh, is the intro video that I've just created. Okay, so that's in our assets and it's the cropped one that we want. Okay, so I'm just going to go, it's called crop MPEG4. So again, we'll just call it assets intro.mpeg4. Okay, then we want to go to the source image, S similar thing, we're going to use the Mona Lisa JPEG. So again, we just got to put the path in for this. Okay, so that's going to be um, assets again. Okay, uh, Mona Lisa dot PNG. Okay, and then obviously we're using this checkpoint, so we need to give it a path to the checkpoint. Um, 
like that. And I think we just need to tell it, uh, I think we can just give it that path there. Um, uh, in fact, actually, no, we need to give it a full path, I think. So we want to give it, what, what is it, vox underscore ADV underscore CPK. dot pth dot tar so you need to type in the full thing okay and um, so that's our command ready okay let's run it um so uh, obviously i haven't typed in the mona lisa incorrectly so uh, that's my uh, typing fingers again okay let's try again Okay, hopefully it's setting things up. Okay, yeah, so things are being set up now for it and you should see this, uh, so it takes a little bit of a while and then you should see it start to process now. Okay, now it's gonna, yeah, now it's starting to actually uh, process the, uh, the windows. Obviously I'm just pausing it as we're going through. So you don't have to see it all, but you can get an idea of the process it will go through. Okay. And then hopefully it's nearly there. Okay. So now it's completed that process. What will happen is, um, so it does take a while, so just be patient. If it, if it looks like it's hanging, it's probably not hanging. Just give it a good good while to to run through the, uh, the algorithm. It's quite a large algorithm, so it takes quite a bit of work. So now if we go back into Deepfake, it puts the... Um, result into a file called result here okay so again i'm just going to open up vlc and i'm just going to shove in result here okay and hopefully you can see this is the resulting image or video that we get okay uh, it doesn't carry through the audio so you'll just have to kind of go into your favorite editing package and layer the audio back on um, but there we are we have our deep fake okay so it's a bit of a journey, it takes a bit of work to do, but um, uh, hopefully you will find this interesting and useful to do. Okay, goodbye.